So hello everybody from here and from uh, the online. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, the Zoom project. This project uh, and uh, my speech in particular will not uh, uh, tell you much uh, in terms of uh, results, but uh, uh, it's more, uh, uh, the presentation is more relative to the, um, the possible evolution and the possible outcomes from this uh, European project. So, uh, what is uh, uh, the project about? Mm, the project in general is uh, about knowledge. So the knowledge is uh, uh, mm, an asset that, uh, that is uh, uh, constituted of uh, three main uh, aspects. On one side you have education, innovation, and research. The knowledge, uh, I think uh, we all agree on that, uh, creates uh, uh, positive uh, uh, influences in terms of quality of life uh, and uh, also uh, in terms of uh, industrial competitiveness. Zooming in uh, to a second uh, stage of detail, the project is about uh, knowledge valorization. So how the, project, the results of research could be uh, exploited to create new products, new services, processes, to create social innovation, to create new companies, so spin out, uh, spin-offs, startups, uh, could uh, contribute to evidence-based policies and in general to uh, the creation of uh, IP-related rights. This uh, uh, will, uh, will have a positive impact in terms of uh, possible, for example, job, sustainability, social fairness, health, skills, well-being. All these aspects uh, are enabled by this process of knowledge valorization. In particular, zooming in a little bit more, the Zoom project has the objective to raise awareness on the topic of IP management with the open licenses. The project is related to three kinds of aspects of open licenses. So the first one is the software. You surely all well know about open source licensing strategies and so on. The second is hardware, so le, having the possibility to deliver the design of a component, of a part, uh, openly and uh, in a, uh, the, guaranteeing it uh, to be re re reproducible in, uh, in many uh, different places and uh, by many different uh, uh, people. And finally, open data. Open data in particular is uh, a an, uh, kind of open uh, that is uh, really relevant in particular for uh, aspects such as uh, Industry 4.0 where companies right now all uh, have uh, had investments and created uh, a lot of data, are generating a lot of data that are mm, sometimes unused. All these three aspects create, generate the three O's, so the topic of our project and the reason why in, in the name of the project we have three O's is this one. The, the questions we want to address is, for example, how value is created with a, an open approach to IP licensing. So if uh, uh, I choose uh, to use uh, an uh, open license to my hardware, software, or data, how can I guarantee or take value from that? The second one is related to uh, the business model. So which business model can be enabled or disabled by choosing an open license. So how a company or my company, for example, can uh, access the market and how can create uh, uh, employment, for example, and other positive uh, uh, effects on the, on, the, on the community. How new research results could reach the market with open licenses. So which strategies could be adopted by researchers, for example, or developers that want to uh, see their uh, IP created, their, their product reaching uh, the market. And also, uh, how open license IP management strategy could enhance uh, the collaborative uh, innovation ecosystem. So in, the, in this point, uh, we have a, a really interesting topic that is extremely relevant to the European Commission. And uh, that is maybe the, the most uh, difficult question of all of them. Uh, how does open licensing approach for open software, hardware, and data, how can it uh, uh, 
enhance uh, the possibility to have uh, more than one company accessing uh, the IP, for example, uh, more uh, diffusion, more knowledge, more awareness on uh, the new technologies in particular. This is, the project is uh, really oriented to new technologies coming uh, from research. How can this uh, uh, contribute to uh, having a better and a more fast uh, access for all the people to the, the new technologies? In, uh, in the project, uh, we identified uh, a number of uh, possible stakeholders for our project. Uh, this is more or less uh, uh, our, mm, our set of uh, uh, entities or uh, persons uh, that could be reached by our uh, activity. In particular, among them, uh, uh, just this one, no. Okay. The researchers in particular, we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, IP is generated by research. Okay, the important part is that this uh, kind of uh, uh, IP could, could uh, get out of uh, the, the drawer of uh, the university of the research center and uh, that uh, this could effectively then uh, have a positive uh, impact uh, on the overall society. We have, uh, for example, startups, small medium enterprises, companies that could uh, uh, benefit, uh, that could uh, develop and deliver uh, with open licensing approach uh, their IP. This uh, uh, obviously is uh, then facilitated, they should be facilitated and uh, for that we need to have uh, an, uh, probably an improvement in the level of knowledge on the open licensing and uh, uh, on the three O's basically uh, exploitation to uh, in particular, we are talking uh, to innovation agencies, for example, also the company where I work, Abinovazione Trentino, that is an uh, innovation agency itself. We have the technology transfer offices, that, is our, that are offices dedicated to tech transfer in the university. We have the PATLIBS, that is uh, uh, an European institute, okay, that is, uh, uh, is distributed ar around Europe, that works to uh, support uh, companies and uh, uh, to, to um, correctly manage their IP. Digital Innovation Hub and also European Digital Innovation Hub also are uh, uh, stakeholders of our project. So what we want to, to create uh, in terms of these two uh, macro uh, containers of stakeholders is to have uh, the possibility to empower them with our uh, awareness raising campaign on the role of these three O's uh, for uh, their work in order to have a distribution of knowledge and uh, they could uh, uh, enabling them to expand their services in order to, to reach uh, uh, and to uh, diffuse uh, all the, the knowledge uh, we will create in the project. Other stakeholders are EU Commission, for example. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, the project will, uh, will have an output, as an output, uh, some policy suggestion and some uh, uh, literature-based uh, uh, outcomes that will be presented to the com Commission. We have uh, another stakeholder that is uh, maybe sometime not so uh, clearly identified, our venture capitalist. So uh, companies willing to invest uh, in projects, uh, in uh, uh, research outputs, for example, in new companies, in uh, startups and so on, that uh, often uh, we can see from common practices are not uh, uh, considering uh, probably the open uh, approach, uh, the, the most uh, uh, exploitable from their point of view, obviously. And uh, uh, so they tend to uh, not finance, not support a project that could be relevant, but uh, um, based on open uh, license, uh, licensing, obviously. Then, uh, obviously, the relevance to society. We, we all know the positive impact uh, of open licensing and uh, the open uh, approach, in particular copyleft, to the community. Okay, so on, the, on one side, uh, uh, talking about knowledge, uh, I like to stress uh, the possibility to uh, disseminate knowledge through open licensing, so through granting access to uh, source code in case of software designs, in case of hardware and the data sets in case of data to all the people in order to, 
to empower them and to, to get mm, to know better uh, the topic in particular when we are talking of new technologies or innovative uh, aspect. The, the project uh, objectives, uh, basically we will uh, reach uh, 500 researchers, we will reach uh, 200 employers, employees from companies, 30 TTOs, 30 PATRIB and 15 ADH. Uh, the, the largest number here obviously is researchers, but we want also to involve companies because uh, as we all know, probably um, companies also are large contributors of open software. Uh, in particular, we had uh, uh, as an input a, a report from the commission that uh, small medium enterprises in particular are uh, great contributors for a large, uh, a large quantity to the development of open software in this case. So what will be the output of the project? This is probably the part uh, you will be most interested in. The project uh, will uh, mm, disseminate, will create uh, and uh, disseminate four kind of uh, uh, outputs for, uh, uh, the, there will be digital material in terms of training materials for researchers, for all the stakeholders we identified uh, that will be thought and designed uh, accordingly to the specific needs uh, of them. We will have uh, interactive tools, so uh, the idea is to have uh, online tools to able to support uh, the um, licensing and uh, business uh, aspects in order to have uh, uh, an adequate uh, um, support for, for deciding which kind of uh, open licensing strategy could be uh, exploited for the, for the IP uh, that was created. We will have uh, specialistic material, so in particular uh, thought for lawyers, for patlibs, and for all the specialists uh, on uh, uh, legal and business, obviously, uh, aspect. We will have uh, open access publications, so articles and uh, all the material that, uh, that will be generated will be published in open access. We will have uh, one or two policy outlooks on uh, the three O's. It's uh, interesting because uh, the Zoom project uh, is the only project that, wa that was financed in the only call related to IP management. Uh, in the in the two years, uh, 2021, 2022. So it's uh, extremely interesting that the only project financed was uh, related to the topic of openness and uh, open approach. And finally, we will have uh, also software. So we will produce software, obviously not from scratch. We will try to exploit and to use uh, already available open source software as a basis for our tools and uh, in terms of the idea is to have uh, to produce a license manager so a uh, software that could exploit researcher companies and the single developers and so on to understand uh, uh, the inbound licenses to, to support the choice of the outbound license to have also ideas on uh, which kind of business model could be implemented considering the choices that are taken during development. Obviously this part uh, will, uh, will be um, supported but by already available project. Among them, there is the Free Software Foundation that is also partner of the project, uh, Reuse, okay, obviously. And uh, in, in the project, the activity project, we will uh, work on that. Then I just keep uh, the few slides that will, uh, will be uploaded by Noi Tech Park and uh, uh, about the partnership, about more or less the, the general uh, steps to the end of the project, the milestones, the, this project information instead, uh, I think, uh, are, uh, should be uh, more or less explained. The project just started, so we are um, at month two of the project. We will have two years to conclude all the activities. Uh, soon uh, we will have the idea platform online at this uh, email address, and uh, you have an, uh, an email address. So we will be really happy to have you connected and participating to our activities. Thank you. Thank you.